Hi, this is Ronald here, and today I want to show you how to set up your virtual machines for, for your penetration testing. So it's important to set up the networking aspect of your virtual machines correctly to avoid errors in the and errors errors later on. So um all right, so what I'm going to show you is how the safe way to set up your virtual machine network. So you need to go on tools, click here, network. Then you need to click NAT networks, and uh, you need to add a network. So I've already made mine, but um, what you'll do is you'd click create, and then uh, you would essentially get to uh, adjust that. Well, I'll remove that one as that one will just, yeah, okay. So ne next thing you need to do is go on your virtual machine. So we have Kali Lex here, we'll go on settings, we'll go on the network part, and then we'll see it's got, we'll, we need to make sure it's set to NAT network, and we're choosing the NAT network we just set up. So I've done this with my Kali Linux and my Metasploitable. This should make sure that our two machines can communicate. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's um, power up those machines and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so now that our machines have loaded up, we should, we will log into them. So, uh, so for, Ka for Kali Linux, the default should be Kali and Kali. And um, for our Metasploitable, it says it right there and um, in the line above the login. So that's msf admin, uh, msf admin. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, all right, so now we need to actually just confirm that our network connectivity is all fine. So there's a couple of, um, there's a couple of tests we need to do. So with these tests, we're actually going to go bottom up. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So what we, what first thing we want to do is we actually want to check that our operating system can talk to the network interface card. So to do that, we'll just need to do ping.0.0.1. Okay, yeah. Okay, so for Kali Linux, we can see that that pinging is working fine. We'll do the same thing with our with our Metasploitable. Yeah. Okay, so that's all working. Now to get to stop this pinging process, we just press Control C on the keyboard, and that will stop that. Okay, so we'll also need to um, confirm that we can ping our, our own machine's IP address. And by that, I mean the virtual machine's IP address. So we'll need to actually work out what the IP address is. So we, we can use this command. There's a couple of commands you can use, but this one is one of the more, one of the more easier ones. So uh, that's IP adder. So we can see the, um, the IP address here is um, is going to be the one that's set to eth0. So we'll do ping, ping. And we'll do the same thing with our Metasploitable. So that should be 10.0.2.4. Okay, yeah, so we've confirmed those two are both working. So uh, next thing we need to do is we need to confirm that our Kali Linux can talk to our Metasploitable. So for that, we'll do um, we'll basically need to ping the IP address of our Metasploitable, which we looked, worked out earlier was 10.0.2.4. Okay, so yeah, we've confirmed that works. All right, so the next thing we should test is that we can actually talk to our gateway. So actually we need, we first thing we need to do is work out what is our gateway. So we can use a command called IPR, or that's a short form for IP route. We can see it says default via 10.0.21. This is our gateway. So we'll ping that. And just for good measure, we'll do that on our Metasploitable too. Okay, we can see those are both working. 
So the fact that we can ping our gateway means we can talk to our router and then we can access other networks, including the internet. So that's the, that's the next thing we actually need to test. We need to see if we can communicate with the internet. So an easy way to do that is simply to ping Google's DNS. So that's 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. So we can see that works. So the, the idea here is that Google's DNS server is a very reliable machine. So if we can't ping that, then chances are something is wrong with our internet, our internet, not theirs. Now, another command we need to, another command we should check is actually our trace route. So what trace route does is it will, it will, uh, it's essentially like a ping to an IP address, but it will tell us all the hops our machine goes to. So we'll see what, what hops our trace route is, what hops we go through to reach Google's DNS server. Now don't, uh, now don't worry if you see output like this, which is basically nothing. It's a lot of web servers uh, disable, disable responding to trace route because it is used for, de for denial of service attacks. So, so don't worry if you can't do this one. All right, so we'll cancel that. And um, all right, last network connectivity test will be um, NSLOOKUP. So NSLOOKUP, google.com. So yeah, once again, we're using a very reliable site, Google. So we can, yeah, so we can see that we've got a, um, we've got a IP address for the google.com domain. So this is basically testing our DNS and making sure that we have DNS. So if you've gone through all these checks, you've um, basically confirmed that your Kali Linux can connect to the internet, uh, can connect to the internet and can, can also talk to our Metasploitable, which is something we'll, we'll need to do to, look, to do our further penetration testing. All right, so that concludes this part. I hope you found that informative. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you found that informative and have, have a good day, okay, bye.